Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of questions lately on how I build my my layer port. So I thought I'd just make a big video, or not just a big, just a video, so I can explain this without you know a ton of comments on videos. So just straightforward and easy. So I'm gonna s s explain all the materials and. Yeah, I'm pretty much where to buy them. Um, nothing's really expensive. Probably the most expensive thing are like the gates and the paper I use. It's like fifteen dollars for fifteen sheets, but it's a lot better than regular paper, and I'll explain that later. But um, yeah, let's just get started. So as you know, I have um Kahului right here. I'm building it right now. Should be done very soon. So expect an update this month. Um, Chicago, which I have the scene concourse done, T5, I am, um, just planning out everything, B concourse is going to be over there, and I'm going to get rid of these terminals, which you guys have never seen in the video, <laughs> but I'm just going to get rid of them, so, and make, um, the American Airlines terminal, I forgot what terminal it is, but yeah, let's just get on to how, to, how I made these, so first of all, on the bottom I have these plywood, um, here, they're uh, plywood they're, uh, like, um, board things, so if you just want to pause the video, you can see them, look it up to buy some. And yeah, I just got these at Michael's, they usually have a, they use, that's the only place where I can find them. Like any other craft store, I can never find them, like Hobby Lobby or anything like that, they don't sell this wood. And the best material is wood, not styrofoam. And the wood's not expensive at all. Um, so yeah, get that for the board, for the base, and when you're buying them, just lay them out on the floor and make sure that they don't, because sometimes I get ones that over, like, they go too high up, so when I do the paper, it kind of goes up like that, and it's just really annoying, so just lay them all on the floor at the store, and if they're all good, then just buy the ones you need, and yeah. So then second, for the terminal, I use this balsa wood. You can just get any size you want or any thickness you want, so just preference. Um, and then for the sidings, I just have these custom made. Um, these I just got online, but I edited them out to make my own. But these are custom made um, from his Instagram, is at Made A Jimmy. He also made these and these. And, um, yeah, he helped me with the foil, so just, I know there's a website you can download them, and I do not know what it's called, because I don't really, I haven't used it. I used it on my old terminals, but those are all gone. Um, the video, you probably see those in or the Tom, or the, not Tom, well, yeah, the Tom Bradley International Terminal in the LA airport update, but no other airport updates have that. But, um, yeah, so... I have custom foils for the walls and all that. Um, for the roof, I just use balsa wood um, also. And everything, and how I get everything so realistic looking, as you can see, here's Kapa Louie. And if you look it up on Google Earth, it looks pretty much just like this. And just look it up on Google Earth and then just work off of that. That's what I do. That's how I made my C kind of course in Sao Paulo too. Um, so yeah, um, what else? Um, so you can pretty much just get all the I got all the wood at Michael's, like I said. Um, I just hot glue everything to the board, and um, hot glue the um, roof first before you paint it. Like, okay, so don't paint the roof and then put it on hot glue because it tends to kind of make a hilly um it just curves and it starts to look really bad kind of like on my self hollow i redid those and you should see that in airport update i made one but it's not working on my editing software so i just i'm just doing this on my phone and then going straight up to youtube instead of going through my computer so yeah um but uh i just painted that with obviously paint so just go to Michael's or like um just any 
places, so it's paint, not like, you don't need a ton of paint. I just use something like this, maybe two of these, and um, just make a realistic one, look it up. Just look up on Google Images, on Google Earth, and videos. I just watch a ton of videos to make sure to see how the surroundings look and everything. That might be kind of blurry in Google Earth, and you just want to see the side units of buildings and stuff. That's what I do. And, um, so, yeah, um, so, I just cut everything, you know, with an exact knife like this. So, just, I'm just doing some basic stuff just in case you guys have, like, any basic questions, too. But, um, and for stuff like this, I just get this gravel stuff. I got it at Michael's, too. I get a lot of my stuff at Michael's. I think I saw it at Hobby Lobby, too. You can get these rack things. And I also got um, these bushes here and this grass stuff. And that, um, I think it's made by like Sino Rama or something. That's the brand. And um, yeah, they really add to the airport realisticness. So if you're making an airport, don't skimp out on the, um, the, the landscaping. That's my favorite part of making the airport. It just really makes it come know to life it just makes it really look cool um and let's see here the yeah here's some example of some grass i've never used this stuff but it's made by woodland um scenics or whatever i got this at hobby lobby but um i don't use it. i just use the the grass sheets like this and I just cut it up. It's kind of hard to cut, so I didn't make bigger pieces and get just smaller from there and all that. Um, and how I get all my boards together, I use this wood tape. I got a it's hardware store. That's what it's called. I don't know if they have that all states. I'm pretty sure they do. But just anywhere you can get, you know, wood tape. Don't use wood glue because that just takes. Oops, that just takes way too long with clamps and all that stuff. And it's just so such a pain, so don't do that. Just tape it up, and that works really well. Um, I do one layer across and one down like that, then across again to just make sure it's really down good. And on some areas that are kind of moving up that aren't um, level to the other one, I just put a ton of tape like, across like that and just make it really stick nice so that it won't pop up. Um... Okay, so now about the paper I use, I just use, I used to use regular um, printer paper, but um, as you can see, this is regular pin printer paper. And you can see how it starts to move up a bit. You can see that, and it just does not look great compared to something like that right there. I mean, that just looks so much cleaner than that. You can see all the tape and all that. I don't use any tape on the putting the foil down. It's just all this um here. It's this Avery white sticker paper. It's kind of expensive, but it's really, really worth it. Instead of just redoing this and everything lifting up and making it look crappy. So it's it's like a dollar for a sheet, so it's like fifteen ninety nine for fifteen sheets. So it's a little bit over a dollar, but it's just really worth it. It should work with any printer. It might it tends to kind of jam a lot though. Not jam a lot, but I mean, I mean this terminal and there's a ton of paper that you know went into this and that, and I had a jam two or three times. One time it got really annoying where it just kind of, um, then the whole thing stopped working, made like a ton of noise, but then I fixed it. But it's not like it's a horrible, like, um, problem. You just have to take the paper out and, and the time where it made all the weird noise, there's just a ton of pa ripped up paper all over the place. And it's just really annoying, but don't let that stop you. I mean, it's not that hard to get rid of a paper jam, but just expect that with this. I mean, it won't happen all the time, but yeah, it looks really nice. So, um, uh, that's pretty much it.
If you do have any more questions I didn't cover, just feel free to ask and then I'll just um, answer them. Just some news. Um, I will have a Chicago plane spotting video, I'm hoping, if the winds are good, um, next week sometime. Um, what else? A Kapu Airport update, expect this soon. I am finished with all the gates, just have to finish the terminal, put down the taxiways, fill in this area and put the runway in. So I'm hoping in no more than two weeks it should be up, so probably around Thanksgiving, no later than that. But I have no idea what my schedule is going to be like with all that. So, um, if I'm not busy, it'll probably be up soon. If I am, then yeah. I'm trying to get this, um, Sao Paulo airport update up, but I don't know. My, I use iMovie, and like my Mac is totally just shot. It's not working great at all. So, iMovie is not working. So, yeah, but don't. That's not going to stop the videos from coming up, so... Um, and also, Chicago Airport update. That will probably be coming up really late December, or probably most likely going to be beginning of January, like January 1st, or 2nd, or 3rd. So that's not going to be coming out until 2016, because I still have a ton of work with that, and I have to get a ton of planes still, so... Um, yeah, but if you have any questions about this airport, like how I made all that, just asking uh yeah hope this video helped you out and uh thanks for watching